These top issues are very similar and reflective of Gen Z voters and where their heads are right now. According to a survey by Arizona State University, the top issues for young voters, cost of living, affordable housing, and protecting our water supply. Here now, Armani Jackson, president of the Young Democrats of Arizona. Good morning to you. Thanks for waking up early with us. <laughs> Good morning. So how are things in Arizona right now? Tell me about um, what it's like to be a young voter in a swing state and all the attention paid on the importance of your vote. Uh, right now, Gen Z voters are excited. I mean, we're seeing the enthusiasm across Arizona, um, not here, not just here in Maricopa County, but also uh, in southern Arizona and in northern northern Arizona. We're seeing more Gen Z voters out on the grounds and a part of the grassroots movement um, to get people elect Democrats elected um, up and down the ballot. So looking at some of the top issues for young voters right now, cost of living, affordable housing, and we'll get to this one, but protecting our water supply. When you talk about cost of living and housing affordability, which candidate's platform and message seems to be resonating most with, with young voters right now, Armani? Uh, right now, from what I'm hearing and the people that I've been connecting with, um, the Harris Walls ticket is the ticket that most young people are resonating with um, when it comes to a lot of the issues uh, that young people care about. A lot of us lean more on the progressive side, a lot of Gen Z voters especially. Um, so it is the Harris Walls ticket that most young people are leaning towards. And when you talk about that energy and people coming to the campaign, becoming politically active right now, did that come post Kamala Harris um, joining or taking the top of the ticket? Or was that in the midst of sort of the, the Biden question? When did you start to see people engage? More people got engaged when Kamala Harris stepped in the race. Okay. This water supply issue, protecting our water supply, um, tell me why, why you think that is important on the minds of young Arizona voters right now, because it's not an issue we see show up in many other places. Uh, I mean, our water supply, we, we know that our water supply here is low. We've known that. Um, and we're continuing to see construction happening. Um, I've been saying this for a while now, but it's like wherever you go, especially in Maricopa County, you're seeing construction. Um, with construction comes a lot of water, especially with the houses that are being built in more particularly our rural areas. Um, so, I mean, water is important to us. We, there's this fear, we joke as Gen Z voters, this fear that we're not going to have water um, at some point because our politicians are not taking it as seriously as they should. One of the most important resources we have without water, right? What do we do? Um, social media is so important. You all understand it better than any other generation because you grew up with it. How are the campaigns meeting young voters in that realm? And, and what more would you like to see to engage more young voters in this election? I mean, I... I think that a lot of our candidates are seeing how impactful social media is, especially for the youth vote. And we know that the youth vote here, especially in Arizona, is important. We have candidates like Representative Annalise Ortiz, who's running in Legislative District 24 for the Senate, who understands what so the impact that social media has for Gen Z voter and is using it to her advantage. And so I think that if more candidates are using social media to their advantage, like Representative Annalise Ortiz, um, more Gen Z voters are going to be more involved with their campaign. Uh, before I let you go, Armani, did you grow up in Arizona and share with our audience what you love most about living in the desert state? Um, yeah, I actually did grow up in Arizona, moved here from California when I was about five years old. Uh, the thing that I love most about living in the desert state is we most most of the time can get in the pool whenever we want. So <laughs> That's a good option to have, especially when uh, the temperatures uh, surpass 100 degrees, which you guys have had a very hot, hot summer. Armani Jackson, yeah. thanks for taking some time to talk to us this morning. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.